here it is. This is the head upside down. You have the hinge that is gonna go in the back. Hinge that is gonna go in the back. And before you put the head on, you wanna go ahead and fasten the screws. There are four screws and the hinge. And we're gonna come back and we're gonna put the head on. So here, we put the headrest pin back here in the hole right here. And if you see there's a hole here for the thread stand. And now we're gonna go ahead and put the head on top. But you're not gonna miss the space right here. Easy. And then in the back, we're gonna go ahead and put up the hinge and put the screw on. And in the front, you wanna go ahead and lock this so the head won't come off. Next step, you have to put on the hand wheel on. The hand wheel, the way you do it, you have to take this out. There's a screw, you open up the screw, and you see there is a slit right here. There's a notch right here. You're gonna make sure that when you wanna go put this in, there is a screw right there, here. And you put the screw right there, mm -hmm. And then you go ahead and tie that one. We're gonna leave this alone for now. And I tell you why, because we're gonna be putting a um, needle positioning system on this machine and we're gonna tell you how this thing is gonna work. But for right now, there's two space for this screw. Set screw right there, one, number one, and number two right there. So now, when you do this, you gotta make sure when you move this, you see this up and down, it's working. So when you're moving this around, this thing should be moving around too. You see all the, right, we're gonna come back and we're gonna put the belt on. Actually, we're gonna do it right now. All you have to do is to pull this back, put the head on, okay, and now, this is a little bit tight. So what you need to do is very easy. You come back here, and you see this screw? You open that up, and you move this, push this forward, the motor. You push the mo motor po forward, maybe half an inch, or three quarter of an inch, and it will work out very easy. Open this up and push this back and you're gonna be in uh, business. You could also make sure that all the screws are uh, tight after you're done. So you see that right now? This is way too loose. So again, we're gonna go back down there and adjust the motor and we're gonna make it tighter, meaning that we're gonna push it back, push it back this way, so this won't be as, t as uh, loose as you see, gotta be more tight. Just a quick note, you see how this belt is centered? That's how it has to be. The belt has to be centered, and we have to come back, we're gonna come back and we're gonna obviously put on the bobbin winder and the thread stand, but this is exactly where the belt should be, right in the mi middle of that uh, hole or slit right there. So here you go. We're gonna use the chain. There are three holes here. We're gonna use one of these S hook, attach it to the chain, and we're gonna put it through the hole that is right there. You see that hole? I mean, even I could do it by one hand. I think I could do it goes in there and you could uh, later on just to leave it like this the s hook or you could just tie it but it's going to go all the way down to here and here i'm going to we're going to have a put an extension 
the same way and we have an extension here we're going to put an extension here too and we're going to come back and show you how that's going to work okay so we had put on the extension to the foot pedal and we use the chain and um, you could either do what we did like we did double here or just use single one I don't know why they use double you could even do a single one if you want but on the back right here so the way is that whenever you press feet this comes up you see that we we'll come back and we do the rest when you want to when you want to put in the bobbin winder it's got to be in a way that when you push this back it will hit the belt so you set it up the way I'm doing it right now. So when it's gonna be straight, the thread stand would go right here in this hole. And obviously you could always use a measuring device just to make sure that you are straight. Go ahead and use the same type of screw that we use for putting the machine together. And here, another one right there. You could always adjust it. It's not the end of the world if you not in the right position. And now you see. Perfect. So here is the uh, part for the thread stand. This one, the main rod, goes through the table. This one is the extension for the top of this. You have two um, guides. One guide right here for the thread, and this one is actually where the thread stand goes. What I mean by thread stand is this one. So we're going to go ahead and assemble it, and you're going to see it. Okay, look. We're gonna go ahead and put the thread stand. In the back. And I'm gonna show you. So, while they're doing the bottom, tie the bottom. Oh, we have some crazy rain going on back up right now. So that's how you do it, very easy. This is one part, the second part, this is the thread stand where the thread goes. One goes for the thread bobbin winder, one for the sewing machine. And here we go, almost ready. We'll come back with the needle positioning system. 